All right, this should be a great match. We have Gino in the blue, and we have Jagger in the black with a very nice mullet. I'm a big fan of that hairstyle. I think it was great. And um, yeah, so we can see, you know, just some grip fighting here. I think uh, I, I think Jagger might be a little inexperienced with the wrestling, just based off his uh, his hand positioning. You know, not really framing as much as I'd like to see him. But um, you know, or maybe he just has an unorthodox style. He's still want to really reach around the head like I kind of saw him do earlier. He kind of got him in this high plum now, which is like, a, you know, a, a Muay Thai uh, clinch technique. But now he's going for the single. And, um, yeah, so you going for the head and the outside single can be so risky because that guillotine is there. So let's see how he handles this guillotine. I think this could be it. I think this, and oh no, because he, he transitioned to the triangle. You know, if I were Gino, I would have kept that. I would have kept that guillotine. I think that um, I think he could have got that. He just had to wait for uh, you know Gino to get or uh, get J Jagger to get to the ground. All right, so great work from Jagger, staying calm and composed, and making sure that he lands in a good position as he escapes those submission attempts. And now he's in side control, and I think he might want to, I think he's trying to get the mount, maybe go like a knee on belly first. Yeah, great job maintaining side control, not giving uh, Gino any room to escape. Yeah, Gino's got that, that shallow underhook, but it'll become more of a problem if it's deep. But uh, you know, what Jagger did to uh, counter that was to go to a knee on belly. Oh, great, great mount entry. We saw it earlier in some of the other matches, that knee on belly, that low knee on belly to the mount. I'm a big fan of that technique because, like I said before, you just, it doesn't, you don't give your opponent much space to uh, counter. Yeah, as Gino goes to his side, he might get, he might get his back taken. He puts himself at risk. I don't know if I would commit that much to my back, uh, to getting onto my side. And we'll, we'll look here for, okay, maybe go an arm triangle from here, okay. Now he doesn't have the grip quite as deep as he would need it, unless he maybe go like a no gi Ezekiel. But um, yeah, you know, I'd like to see uh, Jagger just control the grips a little bit more of Gino. I think it'd be a lot easier to, um, you know, get the submission uh, from doing that. And it's hard to see the grips from here, but um, just the angle I have, I have um, their backs turned to me. But definitely you want to fight the hands, right? Because the hands are really what is the you know, the defense, what's in the way of, uh, of your attacks. Great control from, from Jagger. And Jag Jagger's also 15 pounds heavier. The, he weighed 15 pounds heavier than Gino. I think that might play a bit of a factor too. So Gino might go for like a sit-out, like a wrestling technique, a sit-out. And uh, where you really flare your elbow to, um, you know, make room, pop your head out, and get up on top. So they're going to reset here in the front headlock position from Turtle. Yeah, see, Jagger tries to come around. But the problem was he didn't control the, the hands of Gino. So Gino's able to grab Jagger's legs and uh, make sure that, you know, he can reset position. Ooh, kind of a bit of a slap it looked like there. We're going to be careful, guys. You know, both guys looking pretty good in this match so far. You know, very technical. Yeah, we just gotta, you know, again, not criticizing. I think these guys might be just a little bit inexperienced with uh, wrestling. Obviously, their jiu-jitsu is very good, but uh, just their wrestling just, um, you know, maybe you just can be cleaned up a little bit. Oh, great. But out, head the outside single again. You risk that guillotine. He deals with it well. Beautiful. Beautiful going to that double. But he still has his neck at risk of, um, you know, getting guillotine. And he's doing the right thing, you know, controlling the wrist. And now he's out. So maybe a, a Jagger's uh, look like maybe he's going to try a Kimura. He's going, this high, he's going for this high guard at times. You know, maybe going for the, uh, the arm bar. All right, they're going to reset. And again, I just want to state, I really like Jagger's hairstyle. And it's a really nice mullet. So if you're listening, Jagger, looking good. All right, so yeah, Jagger wants to control the posture of Gino, which he's doing a great job of, you know, keeping his legs high, keep his arms up on the back of Gino's head. 
making sure that he can't posture up because it's gonna be a lot easier to, to pass when he is postured up it's a lot harder when uh when you're down low like this and you're also more susceptible to submissions so he's going for this like rubber guard and um yeah see what he's got from here you know some people have a really good rubber, uh, rubber guard rather and uh you know it can be tricky to deal with uh when someone ha just has those tricks up their sleeve you know you know it's a really um unorthodox guard i'd say Yeah, so Gino is just staying tight, you know, making sure that he doesn't expose his limbs or do anything um, that's going to put him at a disadvantage, right? Put him in trouble. But I'd like to see a little more passing, uh, a little more sense of urgency to get out of the guard from Gino. So not a lot of action right now. But, you know, it's been a pretty exciting match to watch. A lot of um, submission attempts. But uh, I like to see, again, just that sense of urgency. Again, it is a spectator uh, sp sport, right? Everyone is watching. So, you know, I know it gets, you know, you get tired. That's 100% uh, understandable. But I like just, I like, just like to see uh, both guys kind of go for it. It's a little bigger of movements to uh, create some opportunities. But again, you make you make those movements, and then you risk uh, getting countered. So it's a fine line you got to play in the risk uh, risk and reward. You know, especially when so many people are watching you, and you're like you know center of attention right now. It's like really a lot of pressure up, uh, put upon you, and it's harder to roll like you do in the gym. I'd like to see yeah, Gino control the arms of Jagger, right? Get his hands in the biceps. Um, yeah, now Jagger's getting that angle on him, but uh, yeah, look how look how Gino puts his knee up like that. It really stops uh, Jagger from you know getting around to his back. He's looking for that like flower type sweep. You know, I'd like to see him maybe you know if he hooks the arm, he can go for like an arm bar, like a I call it a roundy a Ronda Rousey arm bar, um, where you put the knee or the shin over the head. But again, we just need a little bigger of movements to create some openings. Both guys are staying very tight, and uh, in this uh, in this kind of style of match they're kind of doing right now, it's just not really uh, yeah creating a lot of opportunities. Both guys being very kind of conservative with their movements. Yeah, you can see Jagger keeps going for this high this high guard, which I'm a big fan of. I think it's like a lot easier to get arm bars from a high guard than it is to get it from like a standard close guard. But again, just those bigger movements, just really kind of, uh, you know, not slowly working your way up there, but like it's a faster movement, a little explosive, more explosive to uh, create those openings. Again, Gino just staying tight, making sure that Jagger can't move his hips, can't get any angles. Yeah, I'd say the onus is on Gino right now to uh, to do something, you know, because Jagger is trying to he is trying to get some get, get some uh, get some things going, and Gino is just mostly defending and again no, not faulting him or anyone, uh, just pointing out what what is what's happening. You know, this is a submission only match. If there's no submission, then it's a draw, and. Um, yeah, we need to see that sense of urgency. Yeah, I think Gino's going to look to stand up and pass. That's exactly what he does. You, know, you can see when he starts controlling the, the wrist of, of Jagger that that's what he wants to do is stand up because if he has control of his wrist, then it's, you know, it's hard to uh, get swept because they don't have control. They don't have control of their one arm. Okay, beautiful. There we go. Now we got a little, uh, a little more going now. Uh, so luckily he tried to get a quick arm bar, but Jagger was wise to it, making sure he postured up right away. One minute left. Okay, no, I like this from, from, from Jagger, just uh, changing his angle like that. But I'd like to see maybe a back step, just more commitment to, uh, there we go, a nice back step, beautiful, beautiful. That's what I mean. It's more commitment to uh, getting the job done, right? Because I think that backstep was there uh, earlier too, right? So 
just a little more sense of urgency going for it. And I think that Gino maybe wants to get like uh, like a triangle from here, or maybe a buggy choke even. Those are, you know, all the rage right now. So it looks like he might try to, uh, you know, get to take the back, right? When you're north-south, you push on the hips. You kind of do like a bit of an inversion, put your hooks in. And uh, if you're very flexible, then, you know, then you can get, you can make that happen. All right, so that's it for the match. Great job, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a draw.